Okay guys, so we're moving on to uh, Ippon Sinagi off of the sleeve, okay? Generally speaking, it's extremely hard to hit a standing Ippon Sinagi off the sleeve because there's too much space to cover, okay? So generally, this is very hard, okay, to go in for the technique and actually close that gap. So what we do is we set it up with a feint, okay? We're gonna show that we're gonna be going in for a Kochi Makikomi entry, but finishing with a standing Sinagi. Okay, so my partner's gonna take a lapel grip. I'm gonna settle um, on the sleeve, okay? From here, generally speaking, when we do our Kochi Gary, we feint and we're reaching for a Kochi Makikomi, okay? Instead of this movement, we're just trying to get him to move backwards and set the, the bait a little bit. Okay, so we're here in this position. I faint. I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna lift up. That back left leg is gonna go in just like we did our other Ippon Sinagi and drive through the movement, guys. So we're here. Okay, we're lifting them onto our shoulder to finish the technique. Okay, we're almost sideways to them. Okay, so we're here in this position. Okay, I faint. And I throw. Okay guys, unlike the other Iponsinagi, I'm not turning my back completely to him. Okay, so I'm here in this position, I allow him to get his grip, I take a firm grip on the sleeve, and then I go in for my attack. Okay, I'm here. One, I drive up with my elbow. Two, okay, three. Very hard to do the technique slow guys. So you can practice the lift and then go through the movement all in one motion. Okay, again, we're here. On the other side, in this position. I'm fainting with that hand. Slight movement here. And I throw. All right, give it a shot. 